I'm going to go ahead and get started. And uh, I, I want to start off by thanking you all for joining us today on another episode of Imagine America Radio, our continuing Career College Exposition webinar series. My name is Lee Doubleday. I'm the Director of Operations here at the Imagine America Foundation. And I'm excited to talk to you about today's topic, which is STEM careers, workforce training with Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College. Midwest Tech and Delta Tech have six campuses across the states of Illinois, Mississippi, and Missouri, and is one of this country's leading provider of high quality career focused education. Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College are also partners of the Imagine America Scholarship Program. So your high school seniors can now apply for a scholarship through our foundation, the Imagine America Foundation, to attend any of the institutions we're gonna be talking about here today. Um, but without taking valuable time from our presenter, let me refer any and all inquiries about the Imagine America Foundation uh, to our website, which is www.imagine-america.org. Since our beginning in 1999, Imagine America remains a leading sponsor of scholarship aid to enrolling high school students. However, our country faces a serious shortage in certified technicians. I mean, we're hearing from employers in virtually all sections of the country, desperately looking for qualified employees, so we need to do more. Our partner in today's presentation, again, is Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College, and joining us today to discuss in detail the looming technician shortage and how Midwest Tech and Delta Tech are helping meet this need is Louis Schoenauer. Louis is the Director of High School Admissions and has been working with high schools for many years now, so you're in good hands today. But before turning the program over to Louis, let me outline today's agenda. Today's session of Imagine America Radio will be 30 minutes maximum with question and answers at the end of the presentation. All participants can submit questions while the presentation is in session via the Q&A or the chat feature in this Zoom meeting. At the end of the presentation or approximately 2.25, I'll then present any questions offered by the participants and we'll address as many questions as possible and provide written responses in follow-up email if necessary. But I don't wanna take any more time out of today's presentation. So with that being said, I'm gonna turn things over to Louis. Louis? The floor is yours. Thank you, Lee. Again, my name is Louie, and I am the Director of High School Admissions here at Midwest Technical Institute in Delta Technical College. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about, uh, obviously, who we are, you know, how we got started, a little bit with our brief history, uh, talk through some of the different programs, uh, the opportunities that we have here to provide, uh, you know, and what allows our students to be successful here at the end of the day, uh, and be able to go out there and get into a high demand and essential career uh, right away here, right after high school. Um, as you guys can read here, our mission is to offer workforce training that will provide graduates with the skills necessary to gain entry-level employment in their chosen field. So next year, let's talk a little bit about, again, our school history, how we got started, you know, and kind of where we are at today. So we very first opened up in 1995, and we were actually founded by two former welders, uh, Brian Huff and Mike Casper. They opened the doors to a well trade school in Lincoln, Illinois, to offer commercial uh, pipe welding training. As you guys can see there at the top, uh, that Brian Huff, he is our, currently still our CEO, as well as original co-founder. And then below him is Mike Casper, who is one of our original co-founders, as well as our VP of Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College. Then shortly after, from 1995, in 1999, we actually received our very first accreditation through the Accrediting Commission of Career Schools and Colleges, also known as the ACCSC. We are held to a high standard, such as placing more than 70% of our graduates in the field of study, which is going to be a big thing I want to talk about here today is the job placement uh, that we have here available uh, for those who qualify. Then there from 1999 into 2000 uh, is when we added our second program, which is now our HVAC-R uh, technician program. Again, that's for heating, ventilation, air conditioning. And then shortly after that, in the year 2003, we actually opened up our Allied Health Wing. Again, where we have medical assisting, massage therapy, dental assisting, medical coding, as well as our basic nursing assistant followed there shortly after uh, in 2003. Then from in 2003, we actually opened up our very first campus in 2004 down in Delta, called Delta Technical College down in South Haven, Mississippi. Then shortly after, uh, we outgrew that facility that we had there in Lincoln with our expanding programs. So we actually moved to Springfield, Illinois in the year 2007. Uh, and shortly after the following there, we actually outgrew our 2004 uh, South Haven, Mississippi location, where we relocated to Horn Lake, Mississippi, 
for our Delta Technical College uh, first campus. And then following there in March of 2009, we opened up our second uh, Midwest Technical Institute uh, program in East Peoria, our third in Moline, Illinois, as well as then we opened our second Delta Technical College uh, in January of 2012 in Ridgeland, Mississippi. And then following January in Springfield, Missouri, we opened up our uh, only Springfield, or excuse me, our only Missouri campus, uh, which is still here today. But there's where we are. And then fast forward into 2019, we actually outgrew again that facility that we had there in Horn Lake, Mississippi, uh, from 36,000 square feet to actually we moved to a 50,000 square foot facility, uh, which was right behind the old school. Uh, to help with the growing amount of students and programs that we're adding uh, into that facility. And again, what you guys are going to see throughout this presentation is some of the high demand careers that we have out here um, that, you know, our students are, you know, allows them to be successful and be able to go out there and get a career started right away after graduation. So again, MTI and DTC is changing lives through workforce training. By utilizing the high standards our programs were built on to ensure that students who are serious about learning a trade Will have a legitimate chance to reach their career goals. Again, these are just some words here from our CEO, Brian Huff, where again, he talks about that job placement, how it's a robust part of what we do here, uh, and which leads me to my next piece here, where I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about this job placement rating. Again, it is available for those who qualify, but we want our graduates in the workforce. Um, as you guys can see here, our average job placement rate for our M MTI Illinois campuses was at 75%. 22 out of the 26 programs that we had here to offer had a job placement rating of 70% or higher. And out of those 26 programs, five of those programs had a job placement rate of 85% or higher. In all that, 795 graduates were placed in a job within their field of study last year. And out of those, again, those five that I talked about had the 85% or higher um, was our basic nursing assistant, our East Peoria location, our journeyman welder two and Moline, our basic nursing assistant in Springfield, Illinois, as well as our dental assisting program here in East Peoria, and then our phlebotomy program in Springfield campus. All these numbers that you see here, again, were MTI's 2020 report to National Credit ACCSC based on the 26 programs and the eligible graduates throughout our three campuses uh, here at MTI. So going to the next thing, you know, as we talked about the job placement, um, you know, we talked about the brief history, but really like who we are, you know, some of the big things that I, I always like to say, you know, allows our students to be successful uh, and be able to go out there and get into a high demand career right away after graduation. And starting here on the left-hand side is our relevant curriculum with no general education classes. Uh, we don't have any prerequisites, you know, math 101, English 101, or anything like that. Um, you know, I like to call it focus training. You know, with the programs we have here to offer, you know, if a student wants to be an HVAC technician or a welder or whatever it might be, we're gonna focus, focus in on those exact skills needed in order for them to be able to go out there and get into a high demand career right away after graduation. As well as our instructors, um, they, they actually are required to have real world experience. Um, with our accreditation, they're actually required to have a minimum of three years experience before they can go out, before they can come back and teach um, our students here at MTI and DTC. Again, we are a nationally accredited school by the ACCSC, as well as I've talked about the lifetime job placement, placement assistance that is available to all those students who qualify. As well as, you know, for someone who's maybe wanting to go out and get into a career right away, they don't want to go to school for two, three, four years, or however long it may be. Our programs here actually can be completed in less than a year uh, for majority of them. As well as our hands-on training in labs that simulate real working environments. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I would say that's the best, I feel like that's the most best way for me to, to learn. You know, I actually physically do these different things, get involved in the lab, uh, as well as learning in the classroom and everything. Uh, that's where I always saw the most success. And I know it helps our students out a lot when we get to have that hands-on opportunity, um, you know, again, and get that uh, out in our labs and in the facilities. As well as MTI and DTC is a military-friendly school. Uh, and then one of the really cool and unique things that we have here is what we call um, our PAC meetings, where again, MTI and DTC meets with local employers to enhance and develop MTI curriculum and programs. Uh, these are called our program advisory committees or again, PAC where we have outside companies that come into us, you know, multiple times a year, where they meet with our, with our instructors, our placement coordinators, um, our schools and campuses to really work closely with them to say, hey, what's changing out there in the industry? You know, what should our students really be focusing in on? You know, what, what should we be getting better at? Different things like that. They help us develop that curriculum. Uh, so again, our students are ready and um, able to go out there into a, a high demand career 
right away after graduation. But in all of that, like I said, one of the things I, I like to talk to you about is, you know, here on the admission uh, front, front side of things. Um, but as well as our student success is supported by an individual approach. And what I mean by that is all the way from, you know, the very beginning of the enrollment process, all the way in through graduation. And here's how we do that. And starting here on the right hand side with our admissions team. You know, our mission reps help each individual student visualize their future through graduation and ultimately employment using the track your success exercise. The admission process includes a one on one meeting with their advisor, as well as a campus tour and a consultation with financial aid. So which kind of leads me to my next piece here when we talk about financial aid. MTI, MTI provides personalized support in applying for federal financial aid and help with understanding all the funding options, including scholarship opportunities. MTI's financial aid team can assist students in person and virtually. One of the really cool, unique things that we have here to offer with our program, or excuse me, with our schools and locations is we have financial aid with us on staff every single day. Um, they're equipped to meet with you in person, one-on-one, -on -one, as well as in that virtual environment, just like we talked about there. As well as we have, what we have here to offer is our student success specialists uh, who provide ongoing support tailored to each student's needs, including tutoring, test-taking strategies, life skills workshops, and resources to locate, you know, whether it's childcare or transportation, or maybe even housing potentially. Um, they work very closely, our student success specialist does with each one of our students um, to help with, help with their experience, help them with studying, uh, and really just like I said, making sure that the overall um, student success here uh, is high. Um, and then last but not least, I know we've touched on it, but again, is our job placement assistance. MTI's placement team identifies individual students' strengths to match them with job opportunities, Qualified graduates have access to lifetime job placement assistance. MTI works to find employers locally, statewide, and or nationally, allowing the student to explore all options available to them. So as you can see here again, from the very beginning, all the way into the financial aid process, as well as into the classroom, then even as well as when they graduate here, getting them out into the workforce, uh, where we are heavily involved with that individualized approach and in walking them through the steps um, every bit of the way. Another big piece here is MTI and DC students who graduate with less student loan debt. Uh, and again, these are different statistics we've pulled from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, so for 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 profit college graduates, they're typically looking at maybe on average maybe around forty thousand dollars in student loan debt. As well as a public college graduate, you could potentially be looking around twenty five thousand on average. And then for our MTI and DTC students graduates, on average um, are looking around ninety four hundred uh, for their student loan debt. And I know you guys may touch base briefly here on some of the programs we have here to offer uh, in the very beginning when talking about the history, but we offer a wide range of different programs uh, here at Midwest Central Institute in Delta Technical College, uh, starting with our mechanical trades such as welding in HVAC, uh, as well as in our allied health programs such as medical assisting, dental assisting, um, massage therapy, basic nursing assistant, phlebotomy, as well as we do offer a cosmetology and CDL and truck driving programs. And as you can see here, which I'm going to go into, is the one of the really cool and unique things that we have here to offer with our programs is that they're in demand. You know, and that's a big thing that we really talk about is, you know, for our programs we have out here, as you can see here, we are meeting that expected demand. Um, and on the left hand side here, as you can see, the average uh, Illinois growth compared to the national uh, growth here uh, for these different career fields, starting with our phlebotomy uh, to our medical assistants, to our medical assistants, as well as our dental assistants. And then we kind of get into some of the other different programs, such as HVAC, you know, our welding uh, and medical coding uh, programs. Again, these are different uh, statistics we have pulled from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, as you guys can see there at the bottom. But again, one of the big things I know we really talk about is that high demand uh, that's out there for these uh, students that are, you know, wanting to go out there and start a career right away, uh, who maybe don't want to go to school for another two, four, six, eight years, or however long it may be. Uh, there is so much opportunity in different careers that students can get into. Um, it's really just up to them, you know, to put in that work uh, and effort uh, because the opportunity is definitely out there for them. Which kind of leads me to the next is how we kind of partner with you guys as schools. Uh, and we, per we partner with schools in a variety of different ways. And to start off with that is our high school representatives provide additional support to our local guidance counselors, graduation coaches, and social workers. Uh, we have resources that help your high school seniors understand what options are available to them and what their, what their path looks like after high school. Uh, I always like to say, you know, our high school representatives, we just don't talk about MCI and DTC. 
you know, we talk to students about all different things uh, about, about life and their future, you know, and why is that important? You know, anywhere from talking about a budget, how, to, how that works, you know, talk about a job versus a career. But as you can see here, in one of our slides, we talk about what's your path after high school, you know, what options are available to you, you know, and why, why understanding, you know, maybe my learning style, different things like that. Why is that important for me when trying to figure out, is this a good career path for me or is it not? But we are committed to partnering with the faculty and administrators in our local high schools to help improve graduation rates for high school seniors. One exciting feature that we offer is our hands-on events, which allows high school seniors to get experience in a high demand essential career. This can really help guide a senior towards completion and graduation because they're finding their passion working towards a path after high school. Uh, I know we're gonna get, get into it here in a little bit and try to a little bit more detail about those hands-on events. Um, but that is, a, that is one of the really cool and unique things that we do here is uh, we offer different kind of events and hands-on experiences for students uh, to be able to see is, hey, is this a good, good option for me? Or is this a career path that I could really see myself uh, getting into here before I sign up or um, go into school or whatever it might be? But as well as we partner up with schools is obviously, uh, you know, one of the big things I know a lot of high school seniors ask about is scholarships. Uh, here at MTI and DTC, we, we offer some great scholarship pro, some great scholarship opportunities uh, to high school seniors. And we have awarded more than $5.2 million to students through our high school scholarship program. Now, our senior deadline has passed. However, next year for juniors, you know, this is a great opportunity for them. Uh, but we do have some other additional uh, scholarship opportunities, such as our welding competitions and Livery Smile, uh, which I'll get into here in just a little bit. But our scholarships are geared towards high school seniors interested in a trade school or a career in an essential field after high school. These opportunities can provide additional support and help keep students actively engaged throughout high school. As you can see here on the left-hand side, um, these are just some different students uh, that have earned a scholarship. Uh, you know, it's one of the most... I, I, gratifying and you know, most fulfilling parts, I, I think, in our role here at MTI and DTC for, as, high school, as the high school team here is when we get the chance and opportunity to go out and meet a student, their family, and present them with an opportunity here, of uh, their hard work of earning a specific scholarship uh, to, to come here to MTI and DTC. Uh, knowing that we play a small part in that, uh, to be able to help them and be able to go out there and get to a high demand career right away after uh, graduation uh, it is truly, truly amazing. So let's kind of get into some of the hands-on events that we have here to offer. Um, again, we, here at MTI and DTC, we offer a wide range here from our welding competition to our Live, Breathe, Smile competition, as well as our career nights. Um, but each year we host a welding competition that not only does every participant receive a $500 scholarship, but the top three winners also receive major scholarships to attend our school. This is an all-day event where, again, we have parents, instructors, participants, uh, you know, we have fun and games. Uh, where we invite these kids out here where they get to show uh, their skills off, you know, that they may be doing currently at their high school, their Bo Tech Center or whatever it might be. They get the opportunity to come, uh, you know, showcase themselves here uh, at our competition and potentially earn some scholarship money. As well as we do host a Libri Smile competition. This is a science fair project uh, approach geared towards high school seniors interested in the healthcare industry. The, this educational competition also awards scholarships to participants and winners where again, they're kind of puts a, a project together where they'll actually present it to a, a team here uh, for that. And then last but not least is our MTI uh, DTC Career Nights, where again, this is where students get to come in for an opportunity uh, to work close in the labs with our instructors. Again, whether it's for welding, medical assisting, dental assisting, HVAC, where maybe it's a career that they're thinking of, uh, but they've never had the opportunity to experience it. Maybe they didn't get a weld in high school. Maybe they didn't uh, get to take health occupations or whatever it might be. Um, they get to come to us free of charge uh, and experience it. Work with our instructors as well as other students across you know, the state uh, and, and come see if this is a good, good career path for me. Be able to get a hands-on feel for it. Uh, you know, I always like to say, you know, how many times you get to really test drive something before, you know, test something out before you actually you know, decide on something. You know, for students in high school doing that career exploration uh, right now, or you know, potentially maybe juniors even, this is a great feel, uh, opportunity to say, hey, you know, this is something I would like to do. Or at the other way, hey, you know, this is not something I want to do. But at least they have that opportunity uh, before they sign up for class here. But not only do we partner with you guys as, uh, in the high schools, one of the big things we're really about is that community involvement. Uh, we have partnered and worked with, um, you know, organizations such as IJAG. We've donated uh, salon services to make prom special for lower income high school seniors. We provided an array of salon services for Tim Tebow's Charity Foundation, Night to Shine. 
We've been a collection site for whether it's coat donations, backpack drives. Uh, we've done a lot of different things, and we're always continuously looking for different opportunities to partner with our local communities, uh, as well as schools, um, you know, to build stronger partnerships, as well as, you know, throughout uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and classes that were in actually in a remote learning model, we actually decided to donate online learning tools, uh, you know, such as like screen cleaners, you know, uh, trying to think what else, uh, you know, phone chargers, different things like that uh, to help these students out that were learning in that remote uh, environment there. But as well as building strong ties within the community and finding opportunities to support those in need uh, are two important initiatives for MTI and PTC. Uh, as well as I know, those are always things that we're looking to continue to grow, uh, you know, because not only I know does it make a big impact uh, on the community, these different students organizations, uh, but it's just a, just a big piece um, involved for us that we'd like to continue to move forward. And then last but not least here, uh, MTI and DTC, we want to not only partner, but support the faculty in our local high schools. Uh, we know that sharing our resources will help seniors choose a path, <coughs> excuse me, that is right for them after high school, even if that path is not MTI and DTC. That is one of the big things we're really about is we want to help guide students. You know, education is so important, so important, and we're all a part of that. And whether that student chooses MTI and DTC, we want to be able to help them with those next steps of finding the right career or finding the right school for them, um, there for that piece. But providing additional support, sharing best practices, like how to keep a student engaged, uh, career exploration events, uh, higher persistence and graduation rates. But one of the most rewarding parts of us, again, I know I touched on, is being able to deliver a scholarship to a high school senior who may have never thought college was ever an option. Uh, we are ready to work with you to help you achieve your goals and help you overcome the challenge, uh, challenges that you guys face. Uh, we always like to say, you know, work hard, dream big. Uh, but again, thank you to you all for listening to me. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate your guys' time. Uh, and I would be more than happy to answer any questions as well as partner with you guys here in the near future. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Lou. We are going to now open this up for the Q&A portion of our presentation. I'm also going to throw up a poll question. If you would like to connect with uh, either myself or Louie after this presentation about speaking to your students, please indicate so on the poll so that we know who to reach out to. Um, Louie, this, uh, this person wants to know uh, about uh, GPA requirements in order to get into either Midwest Tech or Delta Tech. Is there any sort of GPA or SAT score requirements in order to attend these schools? That's a great question. Uh, no, there is not. There is no GPA or ACT or SAT requirements. However, a student must have either a high school diploma or GED in order to take one of our programs. Okay. And um, now are students eligible to apply for the FAFSA in order to come to school here, federal financial aid? Yes, they, they are. And again, we have a full financial aid team here. If a student or a counselor is needing assistance or help of any sort, uh, they can work with our team, whether it's virtually or they can come on campus here. Uh, and again, regardless of if they're wanting to come to MTR DTC, we are willing um, to help them out and get that FAFSA completed for them. All right. And um, what would you say is your most popular program of study for the high school student leaving high school coming to your school? That's a great question. Uh, it, it really depends on which campus of ours and everything. Uh, but for high school seniors, uh, I know typically a lot of the big ones we see is definitely welding, uh, medical yeah. assisting, uh, cosmetology has been a big one. Uh, and even um, dental assisting has been really big too. Yeah, I know you mentioned earlier um, different ways that you partner with the local high schools, but do you have any events coming up that you want to talk about? Yep. So we actually have our next career night coming up here next Thursday on March 24th uh, here at all of our different locations uh, here from Illinois, Missouri, and Mississippi. But as well as we do have two welding competitions coming up, our next one will be on April 2nd in Springfield, Missouri, as well as we have our East Peoria, Illinois regional competition uh, on April 9th for all students in the uh, Illinois uh, and surrounding areas uh, that are wanting to come compete are more than welcome to come uh, to the competition. We've had students come from um, all over the, the, the country to the competition. So uh, wow. we're more than welcome to have different students come through. Yeah. And does that, is that competition like something you have to qualify for or can you show up the day of and, you know, compete or you'd have yep, to be they, invited? They, they can RSVP for it at any time. Uh, like I said, they could reach out to myself. They can go on our website. Uh, they can scan one of our QR codes, anything like that, or just reach out to us. Um, but then there's no qualifications needed or anything like that outside yeah, cool. of just um, maybe some welding experience, I would say. 
Yeah, I mean, if you're close by the campus, you should go and, and see the school and watch the students compete. I think it might be a really cool way to kind of get to know the school and especially for those students who might be interested in that program uh, to get a chance to not only, you know, compete, but also tour the campus, see the classrooms, um, you know, kind of get a feel for the school. That's, that's cool that you, that you do that. Um, all right, great. Well, I think that does it for our question portion. Um, just a few house cleaning items here. Number one, we have recorded this session and we'll be placing this session on our website and also emailing you the recording of this presentation likely tomorrow morning. Um, when you leave this, this meeting, there is a follow-up survey. If you wouldn't mind answering those questions for us, it's, it's just three or four questions. It really helps us better understand maybe things that you didn't hear that you were expecting to hear or things uh, that you liked or didn't like. Any feedback that you could provide would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, but before closing, I just want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us today. I'd also like to thank Louie for sharing with us today's presentation and encourage each of you to contact him directly with any future questions. I will include Louie's contact information in the email that I send out with the recording of this presentation tomorrow. On behalf of the Imagine America Foundation, Louie and myself, I want to thank you and goodbye.